Hey there, this is Lula LV. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We're taking a look at all the new releases this month at Louis Vuitton. There is so much good stuff. In order of appearance, we're going to take a look at the new Twinny bag, the new Monoglam denim capsule. This is available now for pre-order. It will be launching next week as well as the Broidery on Glaze, which I think is so underrated. I love this collection. We'll also take a look at the LV Symphony. It's only two pieces, but we'll take a quick look at it. And then the collection you've all been wanting to see, Summer Degradé. This is the first drop of the Summer by the Pool collection. We're also getting a new fragrance this month, Pacific Chill. Starting off with the brand new LV Twinny bag. This is priced at a little over 3,000 US dollars. It's a canvas handbag with black leather trim, which I know a lot of people prefer over the Vachetta leather. It has a removable adjustable crossbody strap, as well as a braided chain shoulder strap. The dimensions are also great for everyday use. I think you will be able to fit all of your daily essentials into this bag with no problem whatsoever. Here I've included a few styling options for this bag. All of the clothing pieces featured here are from the pre-fall ready to wear collection. They're not in stores yet, but they are available for pre-order. The same goes for the LV Twinny bag. This is currently open for pre-order, so I haven't seen this bag yet. It should be in stores on or around May 19th, and I'm looking forward to seeing it then. I also wanted to quickly mention this new hard-sided vase. It is quite expensive. I couldn't find the exact US price, but I believe it's around eleven or $12,000. I know this piece won't be for everyone due to the price, but I do also want to include hard sideds in my new releases videos. Now moving on to my favorite release this month, it's Monoglam Denim. I think these pieces are gorgeous. I haven't seen anything from Louis Vuitton quite like this. These pieces are made of a jacquard fabric base, which is then laminated, aka coated in order to provide this unique rainbow holographic effect. Basically, that's a fancy way of saying this is a new coated canvas. However, you can see from the videos here, this specific one was posted by a Louis Vuitton sales associate. These look really stunning in person. Let's take a look at the gold colorway first. There's two colorways in this collection, blue and gold. Gold includes the Mini Dauphine, I think is a beautiful bag. Here I've included it with a dress from the pre-fall collection, and this is available for pre-order. All of these are available for pre-order and should launch around May 19th. The gold colorway also includes the Petite Mall, which I believe is the most expensive bag in this collection. Again, here we see more styling options from the pre-fall ready-to-wear collection. I think these look gorgeous together. There's also a Nano Speedy. There's a Speedy 20 in the blue colorway if the Nano is too small for you. I do also want to take a minute to mention that all of these pieces in the gold colorway include Vachetta leather trim as well as a textile lining. I believe it's a microfiber lining. The next bag in this collection is the Loop PM. This is a design that was released, I believe, last year in 2022 from Louis Vuitton. So this is a relatively new bag and they've been bringing it out in a lot of collections since they've released this style. The dress pictured here is not available yet, but the belt is, just making a note of that. And the final bag we have in the gold colorway is the Micro Vanity. This is pretty small, as you can see from the dimensions. As for small leather goods, I only saw two items, the Vanity Bag Charm and Zippy Coin Purse. Personally, I would opt for the coin purse over the bag charm because it's much less expensive and personally, I think it's a little more functional. There's also some shoes and belts that go along with this collection. 
I really love the shoes. There's two options of the Locket Mule. These are only in the gold colorway and both heel heights are the same price, 995 US dollars. There's also a matching belt. It's reversible with the monoglam on one side and leather on the reverse side. It's $665. There's also a shawl that comes in both colorways. This I thought was super interesting. It's a wool silk fabric blend, but according to the description, it's also laminated on one side, giving it that reflective sheen, and the reverse side is a more subtle monogram. I'm really interested to see this in person. This is the same size as the classic shawl, and it's only $80 more, which isn't too bad of a markup. The first piece we have in the blue colorway is the Neverfull MM. I was a bit disappointed to see that the pochette is not in matching monoglam denim. It's only in regular leather. I'm not sure why Louis Vuitton decided to do that, but I would have liked to see that in monoglam denim as well. The next piece we have available is the side trunk. This is going to be super popular. All of these pieces launch on May 19th, but they are already open for pre-orders. So if you want any of these, get your pre-orders in ASAP. The next piece available is the Speedy Bandolier 20. This is the larger size Speedy available in this collection. I'm not sure why it looks lighter in this picture, but this is the same color as all the other blue pieces in Monoglam. There's also a pochette Matisse East-West available in blue. This design was just released by Louis Vuitton last year. It's the newest member of the Matisse family, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this design in upcoming special collections. The Kusan PM is available for $4,700, and this bag was also included in Louis Vuitton's promotional campaign for their pre-fall collection, as you can see on the left. The collection also includes a Keep All Bandolier 45. I don't have the euro pricing on screen, but I believe it should be about 3,000 euro. It's also styled here with the oversized faux fur coat from pre-fall 2023 ready to wear. For accessories, all I saw in the blue was the shawl that we looked at earlier, as well as the zippy wallet priced at $1,000 US dollars. Interestingly, there are also two hard sideds included, the petite valise, which is one of the few wearable trunks that Louis Vuitton offers, as well as the Courier Lausine Carré, Please excuse my mispronunciation on that. I'm sure I did not get it correct. Now I'm going to do something new here. I'm going to show you my personal pick as well as the fan favorite from this collection. Comment below and let me know if you like this. My personal favorite item from Monoglam was the Mini Dauphine. This is a classic Louis Vuitton design. I love it in the gold colorway. My pick for the fan favorite, what I think will be most popular overall, is the Speedy Bandolier 20 in blue. Moving on to the next collection being released, also on May 19th, is Broidery Anglaise. This has been done in the past. Last year, Louis Vuitton released a few pieces in Broidery Anglaise, all in pure white. However, this year they're doing three colors, beige, saffron yellow, and pink, and they will include two pieces in each colorway. If you're not familiar with broidery anglaise, the style features the monogram flowers cut into the leather, and then the monogram is finished with embroidery. In the beige colorway, we'll see the Dauphine East-West. I personally love the Dauphine East-West because it's slightly bigger than the mini Dauphine, and slightly smaller than the Dauphine MM. Also in beige is the Petite Noé. 
This is a classic bucket bag from Louis Vuitton and in the broidery anglaise in beige, I think the Petite Noé is the perfect summer bag. Moving on to the saffron yellow, we'll have the Capucine Mini available for $6,650. I've included some styling photos here with dresses from the pre-fall 2023 collection. I personally really love the zipper sleeve t-shirt dress. Here's a close-up of the zipper sleeve details where you can see the little pop of reverse monogram peeking out. And if you're not a fan of the dress, this is also available as just a plain t-shirt as well. The second option available in saffron yellow is the Nano Noe, priced at $2,160. Again, just a very cute classic bucket bag style. Moving on to the pink, we have a Capucine BB. The color in this photo is not quite accurate. Take a look at the Alma BB coming up next for the accurate color. This is what the pink will look like. I love the Alma BB. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, this particular color, Alma BB, is not available in the US. My personal pick from this collection is another Dauphine. It's the Dauphine East West. Like I said before, it's classic Louis Vuitton, and I love that the size is in between the Dauphine Mini and the Dauphine MM. The fan favorite from this collection is the Alma BB in this gorgeous pink. I really wish this was also available in the US. Moving on to the next collection, LV Symphony. This is also coming out on May 19th. It is also currently open for pre-orders. I use the term collection loosely because there's only two items included. One is the Petite Mall for just under $6,000, and the other one is the Capucine BB, priced at $7,000. I was wondering if this was sheet music of an actual song. However, according to the product description, it's only described as a graphic design of musical notation. If you can read music and you think this is of a particular song, comment below and let us know because I am very curious and I really wonder what it would sound like if you played it. But moving on to the big drop of the month, Summer Degradé. This is the first drop of Louis Vuitton's big women's summer collection. Let's go through the three colors available blue, pink, and yellow. Starting with pink, we have a brand new bag. This is called the Summer Bundle. It's a new drawstring style bag. However, it does also include an adjustable, removable crossbody strap. So there are a lot of different options for carrying this bag. It does also come with a removable zip pouch inside the bag and it's a great size for everyday use. Another new bag being released as part of this collection is the Mini Bum Bag. It's priced at $2,160. It is, of course, a bum bag style, but much smaller than the old discontinued women's bum bag. I think it looks pretty cute, but I haven't seen this yet in person, so I would have to try it on to decide if I really liked it or not. If you like the style, but you're not crazy about the color, this will be launching in plain monogram canvas next month, June 2nd, and the canvas price will be $2,030. Returning to the Summer Degradé collection, also in pink, there will be a Speedy Bandolier 20. This will be $2,700 as well as an on-the-go MM for $3,500. There will be an on-the-go PM in yellow. I'll show you soon. Going back to pink, there's also the Easy Pouch for $1,760. This is a really cute mini bag. 
For small leather goods, there's the key pouch and the Victorine wallet. Not a lot of small leather goods in these collections. For my styling suggestion, I've paired this with a plain white summer dress, so the pink really pops in the outfit. I've also paired it with the new Isola Flat Mules, which is a brand new shoe from Louis Vuitton that just launched this month in several different colors. Moving on now to the yellow pieces. Again, we have the summer bundle. This is exactly the same as the one we just saw in pink, but of course in yellow. The mini bum bag will be available in yellow as well. Again, exactly the same as in pink. The first new bag we're seeing in yellow is the Neverfull MM. This is priced at $2,850. We will also have another tote option, the on-the-go PM, priced at $3,400. All of these pieces are already available, so you can go on the website or into your local store and purchase them. As for small other goods, we only have one item, the Zippy Wallet. As for styling, I have paired this with a navy blue romper because I absolutely love the combination of yellow and navy blue. For shoes, I've gone with these same flat mules, but in gold because I also love a metallic neutral. Moving on to the final colorway, blue. There's only a few bags in blue. The Speedy Bandolier 20, which we saw earlier in pink. There's also the Neverfull MM again, which we saw earlier in yellow. There's also the Felici Pochette, which we haven't seen yet in this collection. It's only available in blue. The Felici is one of my favorite pieces. There's also the Emily wallet, which is a long flap style wallet. Again, this piece is only available in blue. As for styling, I think this blue is the perfect companion for a casual, t-shirt and shorts summer look. I also wanted to point out that there's some new My Monogram sunglasses available in um, various ombre colors. Here we see the blue ombre. My personal pick from this collection is the Speedy B 20 in blue because I think the blue is the most versatile color in this collection. For the fan favorite, I had to pick the key pouch because it's the only item so far that's sold out. If you're enjoying this video so far, please take a quick second to like this video. Finally, this month, we have a new fragrance. It's called Pacific Chill. This is coming again on May 19th. I feel like everything this month is dropping on May 19th. This fragrance was created by master perfumer Jacques Cavalier, who's already created more than 20 different fragrances for Louis Vuitton. Here are the fragrance notes on screen. This fragrance contains a lot of citrus notes, as well as herbal notes with the coriander and basil. Then there's that deep fruitiness with the fig, date, and apricot. I think this will be a really complex and interesting fragrance. I'm really interested in trying this one. Here's also a travel case that will be available. I have no information on the travel case yet. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.